Your dog's stupid. If I ever saw your dog in a bar, I would kill him. Remember when he took over YouTube for a bit? Yeah, and then he started sharing child. Oh my god, what is then. Did you hear what he just said? <laughs> what? What the f I don't recall any of that. What? Oh my really? god, what a f <laughs> I don't recall any of that. Take? Imagine just saying that, like... <laughs> what? Wow. That's... He's so retarded. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Ajay here. Today I'm going to be talking about the YouTuber Maximilian Muff. He started out as a gaming troll on Overwatch and Fortnite and gained massive popularity after a successful music video called Oh Yeah Yeah. Max also harassed, raided, and spammed multiple streamers and YouTubers which sparked a massive amount of backlash. He even forced another YouTuber to eat his own feces. And to top it all off, he was accused by Moist Critical of harboring CP on his Discord and as a result deleted his entire channel. This is the story of the rise and fall of Maximilian Mus. Oh, and if anyone wants to follow my Twitter, please feel free. I respond to almost all my DMs and you can see my ridiculous posts like this one. I love talking to you all because you're my friend, so please reach out and say hi. Also, I want to thank each and every single one of you for helping me reach 40,000 subscribers. Thank you so, 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 so much. As a dude that just makes videos in my room, I honestly thought I would never make it this far. I'm seriously grateful. Now, back to the video. Maximilian Muss is a Swedish YouTuber who first gained fame in 2015 after uploading Overwatch troll videos. In fact, he created a series called Road to Bronze in which he purposely lost games and deranked for fun. Also, Max often flat out insulted other players and constantly trash talked during games. You guys don't have. Hello. You guys don't have microphone. Wait, you're Hello. a you're a girl. We lost. We lost. Okay. You stink. <laughs> how do you mute people? You don't know how to mute. Stupid. You're stupid. The P and click la, on la, 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 la. What a loser. <laughs> oh, says the one who has to mute. What a beta. He created so many troll videos that other YouTubers compiled them into three plus hour movies. Eventually though, Blizzard, the maker of Overwatch, caught on to his actions and permanently banned him in 2016. So Max then hopped onto Fortnite in 2017, a game that was exploding in popularity at the time. The combination of the large amount of young players and the voice group chat was a perfect fit for his content. Just like Overwatch, he made multiple videos trolling other players that were then compiled into movies by others. In the videos, he repeatedly attacked people and frequently used childish insults. And sometimes he was downright racist. Well, I'll play with anyone. I'll play with anyone. Even black people? Oh yeah. Oh. I, I can't say the same, but you know, to each their own. <laughs> After several years, Max's channel amassed hundreds of thousands of subscribers as his audience enjoyed watching him mess with other players. To them it was all fun and games because no one seriously got hurt. And this kind of humor was popular among Max's fan base because it was largely made up of impressionable children. And Max took advantage of this and used them to bait people to get more views. For example, he made a video called I ran into PewDiePie on Fortnite and he was kinda rude and didn't actually meet PewDiePie at all. Instead, he just asked his fans at the end to comment holy shit that was PewDiePie in the end in order to trick people to watch the full video. And Max did this with multiple other popular YouTubers like James Charles. Early on it was evident that he had no problem manipulating his audience's hive mind mentality to his will. Another time, Maximilian Muss also cheated to get the so-called world record of most kills in a Fortnite game. He accomplished this by having his viewers die on purpose and as a result amassed 48 kills. Max's record was later beaten by another player, but he then repeated his plan and got 52 kills in another game. Although he reclaimed his title, it was removed from Fortnite Tracker due to unfair play. In January 2019, Max gained even more popularity when he released a video called Oh Yeah Yeah. It was a nearly two minute video that consisted of him singing his catchphrase Oh Yeah Yeah over Trio's Da 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 instrumental soundtrack. The video gained around 7 million views in a month and became a well-known meme. It was even featured on Before They Were Famous and Know Your Memes YouTube page. Oh Yeah Yeah was so successful that it helped propel Max's channel to reach well over 1 million subscribers. Capitalizing on his fame, Max then released another video called It's About Time We Take Over YouTube. In it, he asked his viewers to change their profile picture to his, the character JC Denton from the game Deus Ex. He then asked them to spam other content creators with his catchphrase Oh Yeah Yeah and to like all other comments with anyone else who had a JC Denton display picture. His fanbase then went rampant and eventually drew the attention of KSI who was tired of all the spam on his channel. KSI then released a video on January 21st, 2019 called This Is Ruining YouTube explaining his frustration. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. We have a huge problem. There is a virus on YouTube as we speak. I've seen it. 
You've seen it, ladies and gentlemen, it is everywhere. And I am sick and tired of seeing this virus spread. You're probably wondering what I'm talking about. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you. All right, so I'm here on YouTube. Obviously on YouTube, you want to watch a video, so let me click the video. Boom. Okay, so... Okay. So obviously with a video, you watch it. But sometimes you want to just, you know, see what the comments are saying. So let's scroll down to the comments. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't press read more. Oh yeah, yeah. Like what is this? Oh yeah, 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 oh yeah. Like what is this hate? All right, let me click one of my videos. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, where my brother's at? Bro, he's literally calling for backup. 15 replies. Oh yeah, yeah, here boy. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I'm a girl, but I'm here. Oh yeah, yeah, bro. I'm done with this. KSI then asked his viewers to change their profile pictures to a black screen and comment the phrase stop on other people's channels in an effort to end the spam. First, like me, I need you to change your icon from whatever you have to this. This is Operation Blackout after all. All you simply need to do on every single video you see is type the word stop. Do it as many times as you like, every day until their army is no more. In response, Max released a video and demanded that KSI change his profile picture to a photo of Jay-Z Denton wearing a bandana. If he didn't, Max said that he would go psycho mode on him. KSI, you mess with the wrong army. This is not Logan Paul or some dumb diss track. You do not understand how powerful we are. But since we're nice guys, we're gonna give you one last option before we go crazy mode. KSI, make this your profile picture or we will go psycho mode on your ass. Finally, KSI released a video called If You Can't Beat Them dot 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 and conceded defeat. He then went along with the demand and changed his profile picture in a joking manner. But you know what? Okay, if you can't beat them, join them. Done. I hope you're happy now. However, things soon took a dark turn when Max and his community upped the ante and did more malicious spam posts and raids. They often met on Discord and planned various ways to harass and disrupt other content creators. For example, one of Max's associates targeted Ice Poseidon during a live stream. Oddly though, the encounter just involved crude I had sex with your mom jokes and maniacal laughing. Wow, yikes, dude. You call me 12. Yikes. You're, you really are 12. Yikes, dude. Bang. Like, what a I'm good troll! Oh. I'm 12 inches inside your mom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's an amazing troll. I give this guy a round of applause. <laughs> Why you only got 500 viewers on Mixer, bro? Yikes. 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 Even Ice himself pointed out that it wasn't a good troll and was just plain weird. That's not a yeah, troll. That's not funny. Well, You're not. I consensually have sex with your mom. <laughs> That's not funny. You're not a good troll. I can see why your viewers are seven years old. They also spammed other creators like Dan TDM, Juke Squad, and Nick A30. Max's community even bullied Daily Dose of Internet, who's literally one of the nicest creators on the platform. Max then created drama when he targeted the YouTuber and streamer Weiss. As part of a campaign against him, he told his community to mess with other content creators but use the hashtags Weiss Raid and Weiss Game. He did this to frame Weiss so others would think his audience was the source of the harassment, hoping that he would get banned. And to add insult to injury, Max also mocked the passing of Weiss's girlfriend's father. As a result, Weiss made a video calling attention to Max's hurtful action. Uh, I just wanted to post this tweet and, and let you guys know, everyone know, that this is not me. This is a scumbag with over a million subscribers on YouTube who will never, ever, ever talk about this on his main channel because he's a coward and he hides behind his anonymity and his uh, his audience who he has weaponized like this. And it's absolutely disgusting. But I just want to let you know, anyone who has seen messages in their Twitch chat from viewers that aren't mine saying terrible, terrible things to them, it's not me. We Steven apologized to all the streamers affected by the raid. And I, I want to apologize to those streamers that are affected by this because it, you don't deserve this sort of harassment. I know I wouldn't want it and I know how it feels and I, I'm terribly sorry, but it is not me. Um, I understand that uh, you, you feel the need to report my channels and I, 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 completely, I completely get it. As a result, Max then lost a few thousand subscribers and appeared on the Tommy C podcast to explain the situation. I mean, I don't think my channel is going to get taken down mm. and I don't know, I don't care about my reputation. And think about this, okay? I told my fans to do it. And they weren't like, oh my God, that's fucked up. Why are you doing this? They were like, okay, whatever. I don't get it. And they did it. Yeah. So I don't, I don't see what's going to stop me. And when asked how he would have reacted if Weast got banned, Max replied that he would have been happier. Um, 
I did this to piss him off, but okay. if this got his Twitch taken down, um, I would have been happier than with what happened right now. And Max then revealed that he didn't even feel bad about his actions regarding the death of Weist's girlfriend's father. Okay. And then I saw this opportunity where she was like, oh, my dad died, and I sent some people, and, you know, that was because I wanted him to make a video. I still think maybe I probably shouldn't have done it. It was not my best moment. But I would do it again. The comment particularly showcased his disturbing moral compass. Sinking further into absolute depravity, Max also encouraged a mentally challenged YouTuber to eat his own excrement. So, hold Mr. BTFO close to your mouth. It's time to eat him. Just <laughs> Don't eat him. Just push through. You don't give a f eat all of The YouTuber then uploaded a video stating that he was manipulated. Hey guys. Um, I wasn't trying to do a troll here. I'm not going to troll here. If you were going to expect a, like a troll video or whatever, but I gotta talk about the serious issue today. So, the thing is, I was clearly abused as by Maximilian Moss into doing really nasty things that um, I don't want to speak about because it really makes me feel uncomfortable to speak about it so the thing is maximilian must clearly abuse a person with uh, autism like me and he freely goes around abusing people with um within the autistic spectrum as well so i want everyone to know how much of a clear abuser maximilian Mus is Moist Critical, whose real name is Charlie, made a video addressing the situation and stated that Max threatened to dox and kill the helpless YouTuber if he didn't do as he was told. And Max is laughing about it the whole time and threatening him through it. It is really hard to sit there and watch. It's like watching a f ISIS video. Like, it looks like this guy's being held captive by Max. However, Max uploaded a now-deleted response video stating that he didn't make any threats at all and did everything for his own entertainment. This is another lie with no evidence, there was no threats, there was no, oh I'm gonna kill you, oh we're gonna find you, anything going on. Before I continue, I wanna explain the context of that call. This man is JMA. He's known for calling literal police stations and calling in bomb threats, claiming responsibilities for mass shootings, uh, also sending pizzas to people's houses. It was my literal second interaction with him. I knew barely anything about him at the time except for these things. And he turned his camera on. He was already naked doing weird shit. And then I told him to eat his own shit and I was acting impressed. And I was like, oh my God, you're so awesome. And this is what people are saying. I forced him and that I said I was going to kill him if he wasn't going to do it and shit like that. Like, yes, I encouraged him. It was definitely weird. But there's a huge difference between saying, oh, hey, eat your own shit. And somebody does it versus saying, you got to do this or I'm going to kill you. In December 2019, the YouTuber Turkey Tom made a video and said that Max invited him into a Discord video call with a man named Balabong. Tom revealed that on the call, Balabong opened a suitcase with a piece of paper that said Turkey Tom on it, put it inside himself, took it out, and then ate it. Tom also stated that Max and Balabong did something similar with a pencil in front of multiple other YouTubers, including one who was only 15 years old at the time. For whatever reason, Max appeared to have a deep-seated interest in scat. After taking a long hiatus, Max then resurfaced and raided Moist Critical during one of his streams. And well, Charlie then fired back hard in a self-proclaimed long overdue video called This Is The Worst YouTuber, which was uploaded on February 21st, 2021. Currently, it has around 5 million views. The video detailed all of Max's transgressions and claimed that Max kept deleting and making new discords due to the presence of massive CP. Maximilian himself will tell you the reason he remakes the discord so many times is because his community shares so much child that he has to take it down because he worries that he himself will get arrested for it. Moist Critical also stated that Max said the CP was just a joke and removed all of the evidence except for a single Reddit post. His own posts about his stance on it are no longer there. However, I did find one thread that he overlooked where it does talk about it. I've never seen Max say that. The only statements I saw him make in the past were that it's just jokes and that's why he's remaking the servers. That's beyond up, Max. It's an actual felony. You can't just say, oh, no, 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 you see the child 
It was just a goof. It was just for laughs, you know? Just, how, why aren't you laughing? In his response video, Max said that Charlie was lying and had no evidence to back anything up. This is literally just straight up a lie. Hence why he doesn't show any screenshots or clips to back up his statement. Because I've never, ever said anything of this sort. He also stated that he kept deleting and making new discords due to raids and not CP. But I am not a and my discords get banned for raiding, not CP. And the fact that he literally says three times, Yeah, Max is posting child as a joke and it shows nothing to prove that is actually this is the message i get when i get banned is usually due to raiding or harassing and i think everybody has every right to say it's cringe stupid edgy immature but i think there's a ginormous difference between that and calling somebody Currently, the internet seems to be split on whether the CP allegations are true or not. But there is a consensus that Max got absolutely bodied by Charlie. Unfortunately, Max's response video was very poorly received as he just said everything was a lie and didn't offer any proof to defend himself. Also, after Charlie's video was posted, Max lost 50,000 subscribers. Realizing that he couldn't save himself, Max then pulled a John Swan and deleted his main YouTube channel, Maximilian Mus, as well as his second channel, Maxistan. But before he did, he released this statement on Discord. I'm gonna delete my channel, I'm not a pedo and I never said CP is okay, but I've done a lot of bad stuff over the years. And I've have broken YouTube TOS like some ordinary gamer says, it's a miracle my channel is still up because over the years I've probably gotten a total of 15 strikes. Some random innocent person is being doxxed because people think I'm him, my actual name is not even Maximilian, so the people trying to play heroes are being insanely reckless. But even previous to this, I thought about quitting a lot, and I've been very close to deleting my channel many times before. I haven't enjoyed YouTube very much even previous to this, and I think this is the bang to end it with. Feel free to archive any videos of mine you want, I had a great run, smiley face. Additionally, many others have come forward detailing their stories and experiences with Max and his cult-like following. Maximilian Mus is now facing the backlash from his toxic actions. It's clear that he was power hungry and manipulative. I mean, he constantly used his audience of children to do his bidding. Max also seemed to genuinely enjoy the suffering of other people. And if the CP allegations are true, calling them just a joke is disgusting. Honestly, I think that Max has both sociopathic and narcissistic tendencies and would benefit from counseling. His behavior isn't normal and needs to drastically change if he wants a healthy, sustainable career on YouTube. I hope that one day Max realizes his mistakes and becomes reformed like some of his old followers. The first step is admitting what he did was wrong and apologizing to everyone that he hurt. Maybe we'll get to see that in our lifetime, maybe not. Only time will tell. Until then, people will continue posting this comment all over YouTube. He called me a pedophile. I mean, he's not wrong, but he has no evidence. Maximilian Mus. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. Peace.